What is happening, everybody? TC here, and I'm joined by Mari Ford. Yes, sir. Yes, Thank sir. you for joining Thank us me. today, buddy. So today we're going to be looking at uh, some new case families. Yeah, so SHOT Show is a great way to premiere. I think most of the cutlery industry waits for SHOT Show to premiere yeah. all their new stuff. So, uh, you know, we've talked about the vault pattern. The vault pattern this year is that 25 and a half swell center. Yep. Uh, but just the new patterns and new families that are entering our catalog. This, this is core catalog family. So I, I think a lot of folks out there are anticipating what's new from Case, what's 22 going to look like. Um, and there are some fantastic items here. Yeah. We're excited to share with them and you and everybody else because uh, we're real proud of them. Yeah, and we're going to show them in just a second. Before we get started, though, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, so you will know when we bring you new stuff from Case. It's really exciting. So before we get started, light it up. Mari, we've got some really cool new families coming yes. from Case this year. Yes, we do. It, and one thing you'll see, and I, I, we talked about this a little bit off camera, um, because Case is so far behind. The pandemic has been uh, actually good for demand. Obviously, we've had challenges. I think everybody's had challenges yeah. with supply chain, with getting the, the labor force. Uh, we're blessed we haven't lost anybody, but we need a lot more people. And yeah. uh, getting new people is really hard at Case. But So you might not see as, as broad a lines or quite as much, but... Uh, we're going to make sure that we always have new products. That is kind of the driving force with a lot of our customers. Uh, that's the things that our retailers look for. Uh, and man, this year, I, we're real proud of this. So I think there's some great items like like we talked about. Uh, a lot of families, a lot of different materials that you're going to see in there. Um, so I don't know where you want to start. Well, start I mean, it, it's tough to pick. Like, I mean, you've you've really got a really wide cross section here of of different materials, and uh, I mean, of course, the patterns that you know and love. Right. You know, the stockmans, the trappers, but you know, the handle materials, and you've got a new uh, pocket worn yes. series right here. So in this, the twenty sixth year of the pocket I, I was worn series, say, we just celebrated the twenty fifth anniversary. Yep. Let's start there because I do think that is really that, nice. So uh, we just celebrated celebrated the 25th anniversary of pocket worn. Yeah. Um, so in the 26th year for our catalog, we kind of did a refresh. Some of the, some of the others were, were kind of transitioning out of the harvest orange and some of those, uh, not that they weren't great sellers, they, right. they were, but kind of refreshing that. So this Mediterranean blue, and, and we talked about it all fair. It's got that lobed case shield, but just that pocket worn finish. Yeah. In that Mediterranean blue. Anytime you see the pocket worn, I feel like it has a little bit more shimmer on the handle. Yeah. And that's just that extra craftsmanship in there. But um, man, this Mediterranean blue is going to be. It looks beautiful, and the Mediterranean blue has been insanely popular, anyways. Yes. yes. And then you just add on top of it the the extra wearing down and and smoothing of that the handle material, and it just makes it look gorgeous. Yeah, that craftsmanship that goes into making a pocket worn version of something uh, is is significant and it yeah. really you know i always tell our guys that in the factory when i get a chance to talk to them like it's kind of like they're showing off a little bit because they get to spend that extra time and they get to mm -hmm. you know pocket worn was originated because people would give us a knife that they'd had in their pocket for 30 years yeah they said i want a knife like this we're like well you got to carry it to do that yeah uh and our artisans were like I can do that <laughs> well and you know it almost looks i know it's not but because of that handle material being polished and being worn down and polished and and a, a little bit shinier it almost makes the bolsters and uh the liners and everything look a little shinier too it, it, it does by nature when they they're hafting that that's a hafting process yeah. um they have to have the bolsters a little bit more yeah. too they got to blend it all so you do see that a little more rounded you're going to see a little more shine on that mirror polish on the on the bolsters uh, it's a little bit thinner which a lot of folks like i mean yep. it, it has that just really handcrafted nature to it yeah and, and just the best in the pos best possible way yeah and of course we're already seeing uh the sodbuster junior there we've got the toothpick we've got yes. the trapper um so you're already seeing several of those patterns uh, obviously the stockman there yes you're going to see most of your favorites uh the medium toothpick you're going to see in quite a bit of things this year uh, you know last couple of years we've done that of course we have the fishing knife and some yep. of those but every time we did a medium 
Texas toothpick. Uh, it was one of the top sellers in the, in oh, yeah. the series. So well, the really, Damascus there's a demand one, for that. The Damascus one this oh, past man. year turned out great. Yes. And that, there's another jumping off point. So very similar to the handle material yes. on the Damascus pattern that you guys put out this past year is going to be uh, this. Uh, now, what's that one called? So this is brown maple burl. We did the autumn maple yeah. burl and the red maple burl. Um, so that burl in any wood obviously and uh, maybe i'm a little uh maybe i'm a little biased but when you take a, any great hardwood and you get the burl part of that yeah um it is going to have so much character and this brown maple burl uh, again you know i think case is known for just the use of natural handle materials and that from from bone like the pocket worn to to this wood this natural hardwood um but man that maple and that burl with the brown yeah. is good so it, you're right it does it, it is similar to what we did in the damascus uh this is going to be available all year so um and what you will find a lot of our new products and they'll start to inter be introduced in your catalog and on your website as they come in stock um i know you're going to list them all mm -hmm. uh, with notifications that yep. they can get that but uh they're going to be on the website but they'll start to deliver most of these things within the first quarter yeah uh, we're still catching up but uh, in the meantime we understand the importance of new stuff so we're not gonna we're not gonna completely pause the new stuff while we're catching up right we're gonna try to balance that just right to, yeah. to do both and of course this is going to come in all the favorite patterns you've got the mini yes. trapper right there we've got the regular size trapper uh we've got the rust lock up here um we've got and this one uh, and this is something you're going to see a lot of yes. is you're going to see the new vault pattern in a lot of these new handle materials most, these new uh new patterns most here. every family that we do is going to have this 25 yeah. and a half swell center and again this is a one-year production so yeah uh you know i, I know a lot, uh, people will ask me what should i start on if i'm collecting or what do i get someone if if they've got a lot of knives, well, they don't have the vault pattern. Yeah. They don't have the new stuff. But Well, and, and Isaac just, just said just a few minutes ago off camera, we were talking about it, and he was like, you know, I think I'm just going to start picking up at least one vault pattern every year. And I'm like, and that's one? That's a good one. <laughs> Come on, man. You got so many choices. Yeah, that, there's so many. But, uh, but no, that, that is a great way to uh, add to your collection, start your collection, or just get something special. Yeah. Maybe it's a big year for you in 2022, and you're going to celebrate it. Uh, we'll, we'll get a knife that was only made in 2022 by yeah. Case, and I think that's a good way to do that too. Uh, case is so personal in a lot of ways. Vault pattern just kind of adds yeah. a little more dimension to that. And another new one, while we're still on that one, is uh, one that we haven't seen in a while. Is going to be that uh, that slimline trapper right yeah, there. Yeah, the slimline trapper. This is our 048 pattern. You know, I know a lot of folks out there they know pattern numbers better than I do. <laughs> uh, but the 048, this is that slimline trapper. It was the farmer's knife. It's often referred to as that. Uh, some folks would call it the Saturday night special. I'm not exactly sure what that <laughs> was, but, uh, but it's a great knife. It's thin. It's a single blade. Uh, it is the same scale size as a trapper, but it's narrower. So right. you're going to get that four and an eighth inch, uh, but you're going to get a, a really, really, really nice, uh, nice size knife. It's thin in your pocket. It's lightweight. Uh, and you're going to see a lot of yeah. these probably in, in the line. Uh, you know, some of the other ones, and if if for some reason you look at the new intro and you don't see maybe your favorite pattern, maybe it's a, I know you, you brought up seahorse whittler. Yeah. Where's my seahorse whittler. Uh, some of those temporarily uh, are going to be paused during the first part of the year. Right. Trying to, uh, again, trying to catch up. We, we are at a record back order. Yeah. Uh, if Tyler pipes were here, he would be uh, our job. Or Tony or, or Tony. Yeah. Tony, um, Tony talks to me every day. Uh, it, and it's tough. Uh, we, we talk about that. It, it's tough. You know, Smokey <laughs> gets more knives than anybody, but you go through them quicker than anybody. Yeah. So, um, so we're trying to catch up with that. We're trying to do the new thing. So some of those patterns, you know, if it's the, the seahorse whittler, or maybe it's even, even a half whittler or some of those, yeah. uh, you won't see as many early on. Um, we're hoping to come back with a, with a huge second right. half of the year and kind of bring those back into production. But uh, we're, we're going to work through that, and our folks in Bradford are working really hard. Uh, but, yeah, you're going to see that slimline in really, families. Yeah, really digging that slimline trapper. And yes. this is another one. I mean, that that's another example of that yes. slimline trapper in another new family that you guys are coming out with this, this year. This is another new, and this is we're calling this cayenne bone. Yeah. So it's, it is an orange, uh, kind of a – almost a blaze orange in some yeah. way and it has a lot of red tint to it uh, you see those double x's on the bolsters yes. and, and we do that occasionally just to kind of really kind of set something apart maybe mm -hmm. you know you want to know well i had a knife similar to that a few years ago um but we want to make sure they're unique every time that we offer that so that cayenne has got that um got that nice jig in it so where you see both colors you kind of see that red and that orange uh, and you also have that bolster artwork. So this family, um, as we're transitioning through, it's only going to start with three 
patterns in this family. So we only have the trapper, uh, the slimline, and the and the swell center. Swell center, yeah. Um, so they only see three. So it's going to be kind of a narrow line to begin with. Uh, you may see some additions as the year goes on that we add to this. So uh, some of our production things that we that we made some decisions on were kind of after everything was already set so right like okay we can we can do those later we'll yeah. have some other those later uh so you may see some things throughout the year maybe even earlier than than the fall but yeah uh, but it's going to start out with a relatively small offering in that and another new uh new handle material that you've got here now yes. that one's really cool and purple has been insanely popular lately yes, yes. like purple, insanely popular purple is great uh it's one of those that it, it kind of i won't just say trendy because it feels like it is a staple but there are times it i'm like man it just takes off yeah everybody's doing purple so this is our purple curly maple uh and this is going to be our 2022 with the ixa shield you know, yeah like christian fish symbol um that has been widely popular. Uh, we wanted to do that in something a little more special. Um, you know, purple, a, as you look through that, we've done some other things in the Christian series that's purple. It's kind of one of the liturgical colors. So right. uh, oftentimes people will associate that. So whether you just like the color purple, whether you like the wood handle, uh, whether you want something in your pocket that maybe represents some of your beliefs or, right. or maybe, you know, what you stand for, uh, this hits on all cylinders yeah. there. So. Uh, we're excited about that. We'll have several of your favorite patterns in this purple curly maple Ixus shield series. Um, it rolls Isaac, off the tongue. Isaac was really <laughs> challenging me earlier. He's like, tell me that. Now say that again. What is that? I'm like, all right, man, you're trying to catch me. You're trying to trip me up here. <laughs> we always uh, we always make fun of each other when we're trying to say these yes, names because a lot of them, like, there's a lot of words and we're trying to get it all out and we're trying to say it quickly and, and yeah, it this doesn't happen. The thought sometimes. process into naming colors or things at case, you know, that that's something we spend a lot of time on because it means so much to our collectors and it's so identifying. But uh, yeah, the purple curly maple Ixus Shield series uh, is going to be out all year, and it's uh, it's going to be a great family, and we expect it to continue to do well. And and again, it just means a lot to a lot of people, so we're excited. Yeah, about that. yeah. And finally, another uh, the the last of the new families that we've got here before us, yes. um, and this one's really cool. I think it looks great. And you guys have been doing a lot more with um, modern materials, yes. and this is one of them. The the micarta there. Yes. And this one is going to be a combination green and black micarta. Yes. And, and like you said, our innovations team is working hard. You know, one of the things we're doing, and you, you saw some of that with our modern knives that we came out with, but but not just the modern style, but we want to use some modern materials. And some of these, maybe they're modern on knives. Some of these materials have been around for years. Yeah. Uh, but it is a very durable, so the micarta. And the micarta is something that a lot of custom knife makers use. Uh, just the character in my car, yeah. especially if you take a dual color like green and black. And as you blend that and as you do that same process that you do to a yeah. pocket worn knife, you really start to see the character in that. Uh, this has got the uh, the diamond shield, one of my favorite shields in there. Uh, it's got that that green and black micarta. Uh, and that's something, again, this is going to be standard catalog stuff that we're doing. Uh, we're expanding our black micarta a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so we'll have some of those things. But uh, yeah, this, look, this looks good. You're going to see... I hope every year, you know, we, we always in the innovation side and some of the things that we're doing, I hope that we're always challenging ourselves and we're being challenged by the consumer. Uh, we're always looking for that thing that fits the case brand. Yeah. Um, but maybe is, is a little something you might not expect from the case. Yeah. brand, And we want to continue to do that uh, in a way that that represents our brand. You know, right. We want to be true to the brand, but I think this green and black, I, I'm with you, man, this looks rich. Yeah. Uh, it has a real quality look to it and, and it is a modern material. So yeah. a durable, of course, all these have a lifetime guarantee. So, but you're not going to wear them out, but this particular material is going to continue to stick around and, and I know we're seeing more of it. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Mari, thank you again so much man, what, what for bringing fun, this up. What to fun we're having. And, yeah. Uh, I love to show it here. You guys are so, uh, you're so kind to us and uh, you know, we don't want to take that for granted. We want, we want this to be the destination for case knives, new case knives, exciting case knives, New announcements if we yep. got something great. Absolutely. So, so thank you for that. Absolutely. Well, folks, you saw it here first, and these are all the new families that are coming most, uh, most I guess, in the near future. Yeah, they're, so, all, they're all in production. Yep. They're starting production. So it, And it'll be, we can look for these somewhere around the end of the first quarter? Yeah, and there'll be some that come a little earlier and some that might push into um, April. Okay. But, but yeah, most of these in the, in the catalog, you're going to see February, March, April delivery yeah. dates on nearly all of this. So stay 
stay tuned for those folks. And when they come up, we will let you know. And thank you for watching this. Again, like, share, comment, subscribe. Let everybody know because these are all the new families that are coming in from Case. And remember, if it cuts like a case knife, then we carry it.